Hi, I'm Colin White, and I'll be presenting our spotlight paper on encodings for neural architecture search, which is joint work with Willie Nicewinger, Sam Nolan, and Yash Savani. Most NAS algorithms search over a set of DAG-based architectures, which must be encoded in some way to be used by the algorithm. A couple of recent works have shown that this encoding can have a large effect on the performance of NAS, and so we give the first formal study on NAS encodings. We start by formally defining eight different encodings based on two paradigms, adjacency matrix-based encodings and path-based encodings. Four of them are shown here, which are one-hot and categorical variants. We note that the path-based encodings are not one-to-one -one functions, and for the adjacency matrix-based encodings, the inverse functions are not one-to-one. -one. Because of this difference, many prior NAS algorithms unknowingly used unknowingly use encodings that are not compatible with other NAS algorithms. Therefore, in order to experimentally compare these eight encodings, we must go to the subroutine level. We identify three subroutines that are the only encoding-dependent building blocks necessary for many NAS algorithms. Sample random architecture, i.e. drawing an architecture at random. Perturb architecture, in other words, mutating, mutating an architecture. And finally, train predictor model, i.e. using a surrogate such as a Gaussian process or a neural network to predict the performance of untrained architectures. Now, for each subroutine, we identify a couple NAS algorithms which heavily make use of that subroutine, and then run an experiment trying out all eight encodings for that subroutine. For example, for the perturb architecture subroutine, regularized evolution and local search make heavy use of perturbing architectures we find that the adjacency matrix encoding works best here. In general, we find that path-based encodings are best for predictor models, and adjacency matrix-based encodings are best for the other two. Now I'll briefly mention the rest of our results. For the path-based encodings, not being one-to-one -one can actually be a benefit, since architectures with the same encoding tend to have very similar accuracies. Finally, we theoretically and empirically show the that the path-based encodings scale better than the adjacency matrix-based encodings. Overall, we find that encodings are an important design decision for NAS, and we give recommendations for what encodings to use for which subroutine. Please see our poster or paper for more information, or go to this GitHub link. Thank you.